What is up, YouTube? I am the original Renaissance man, Devon Da Vinci, and I'm going to be getting back to one of my favorite comedians. This is Bill Burr. Um, he has a segment right here on movie race or movie racial stereotypes. And every race has a stereotype in a movie, every single one, whether you're black, white, Asian, uh, Indian, uh, Hispanic, um, uh, the other type of Indian. <laughs> Uh, hell, even like European countries have all their stereotypes in movies, and I'm gonna see what his take on it is, and then I'll give you guys my thoughts about stereotypes in general and everything else afterwards. Let's go check this out. I don't know. I rented that movie, uh, Pride recently. Have you guys seen that movie? Anybody see that? It's about the first all black swim team and the difficulties they had to go through being the first all black swim team. Let me ask you a question. How many of those white people are evil movies are they going to make? <laughs> it's like it's all the way down to swimming. <laughs> you know? I'm starting to run out of white guilt, you know? <laughs> no, it's like those movies, they started off unbelievable. Started off with roots, right? White guilt was at an all-time high. I could barely even watch it. I'm like, dude, I got it. My ancestors are evil. Okay, please, please turn the channel, dude. Please turn the channel. They still hitting them. Fuck! <laughs> this is going to be on all week. Jesus Christ. <laughs> In the 80s, there was like a football movie, then like Cuba Gooding wanted to be like a scuba diver. Remember that shit? And now it's all the way down to swimming, and I gotta admit, I don't think I give a fuck. <laughs> you know? I'm not trying to be a dick, but it's a recreational activity. Plus, I've been in pools, there's been black people in the pool, you know? I never saw any white guy like trying to like fucking like prevent people. <laughs> Like, they just like making this shit up. I'm not, I'm not being a dick here either, okay? Just to clarify, you know, I just want anybody coming up to me after the show like, you know, I was thinking it, and then you fucking said it. And then... <laughs> I'm not saying that I don't think black shit, people should be allowed to put on some Speedos and go for a dip. I'm not saying that shit. I'm just saying <laughs> these movies, like the characters aren't even believable. <laughs> Like, they always have to have, like, that, the, the over-the-top, uninhibited white racist character, you know? You know that guy? He's a guy, like, uh, he's supposed to represent all the white evil, you know? He's like the <laughs> dude they always have, like, screaming during the movie trailer. They'd be like, they were the first all-black swim team. Get out of the pool! <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. Real racism is quiet. Oh my god. Bill Burr is the so best when it comes to those voices. To make sure that, <laughs> you know, to make sure the coast is clear. There's disclaimers. Like, dude, you know I'm not racist, but uh, these insert group name followed by fucked up conversation, right? <laughs> That's how it goes down. Not just some guy just standing up there. There's in the pool. <laughs> Do you approve of this? <laughs> <laughs> the honest thing is those movies they're starting to give me a complex you know because anytime they do a movie about a group of people that thinks dumb shit about another group of people it's always like white dudes so it's like are white dudes the only ones who think ignorant shit about other people you know <laughs> no mexican guy ever walked up to somebody from india like dude what the fuck is that white dudes the only ones walking around well you guys don't eat cows what are you a bunch of fat <laughs> then why are you wearing sandals? You guys wearing sandals? <laughs> <laughs> no, just saying, you know. Just balance the movies out a little bit. Like, just have some of the evil shit that black people say about white people, you know, when, when we're not around, you know? Like, like, well, what are some good examples, you know? <laughs> you know I mean? You're hanging out. You had a rough day, you know? What are some of the classics? You know, what smell like wet dogs, right? <laughs> you got headlights or something like that, right? Just, just slip some of that shit in there. Get out of the pool! Wash your hair, motherfucker! Right? Just <laughs> make it seem a little more... <laughs> Dude, I'm just saying, it's all the way down to swimming. I mean, where the fuck do you go from there? We do, like, ping pong? <laughs> They were the first all-black ping-pong team. They're going to steal the paddle. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter's not playing ping-pong. Uh. You got to go out there and show the white man your bed, ping-pong. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not saying. Uh, I don't know, it's always just weird bringing this shit up, but... No, I'm not saying white people aren't evil, either. Because I know we're evil. I got that evil in me. <laughs> I do, I, that's why I can feel it. That's why I try to suppress it. I try to dress casual, you know what I mean? I'm serious, man. I tried a suit on the other day. I felt it coming up. Like, fuck, man, I want to take over some shit. <laughs> you want to take over some shit. I want to start telling people what to do. I want to go pollute the lake, blame it on my secretary, you know? It's all in the suit. <laughs> Stop wearing suits and racism Dude, will end like those tonight. Movies when they make black and white people get along, man. Even those ones seem ridiculous, you know, because it always has to be like some sort of lesson in those movies. Just like, you know, I never looked at it that way. <laughs> and it's like that never happens, you know? Anytime I've ever hung out with a black dude, at no point during the evening has he like tried to like teach me how to dance. You know, <laughs> you know that interracial footloose moment they always have to have in those movies? <laughs> go to his neighborhood and like try to like save a school you know <laughs> how many times are they gonna make that movie you know that movie the white person goes into the projects they just have to make a difference <laughs> you know they just made that movie again with uh was it hillary swank it's like did you even need to go see it it's like let me guess she shows up and they don't accept her right? <laughs> and she goes home she cries to her effeminate boyfriend who's wearing sweatpants and he's cooking something for some reason right <laughs> and he convinces her he convinces her to give it one more chance right mm. so then she goes back down there she starts drawing out their inner beauty next thing you know they put a do-rag on her she's like <laughs> fucking dancing <laughs> and it's just embarrassing for all races involved for the love of god stop making that fucking movie the amount of times they made that movie, I would think I would know somebody white who actually did that shit, you know? <laughs> like, ah, that's Mike, yeah, he saves ghettos. That's what he does, you know? <laughs> I sit around, I watch Sports Center, you know, he's in the projects every weekend. He's writing his name on the blackboard, my name's Mr. Michael, all right, who threw that? <laughs> who threw that? You gotta have the part with the one kid that's real bad. And he gets himself with some shit, and then the teacher comes and, and saves him. And too. that makes him respect the teacher. Anytime the white That's how it always works. I want to make that, I want to see a movie where it doesn't work out. Like the white dude goes down there the first day, just gets the shit kicked out of him. You know? <laughs> just leaving all negative. You can't fucking help these people, you know? <laughs> this is crazy. I tried to do something nice, I couldn't get a goddamn word in. There's a train it all prescription. Yeah, that's funny. Um, yeah, it's, it, I'm going to speak on this first, and I'm going to go ahead and talk about stereotypes second. Um, so, yeah, they, the funny thing is, um, I mean, of course, the reason why a lot of these movies tend to take place is they always tell stories about what happened before. So it's not like a movie that takes place in the 90s and there's someone trying to block someone from a pool. Because back in the day, in the 60s and stuff, there were pools that had rules like black people aren't allowed in it. I'm not sure why. Maybe... They thought that if black people swim in it, their kids would get like some type of black disease. I don't, I don't know. That, but it's just, it's just the truth. There was a lot of shit going on back in the day. Um, as far as uh, the teachers thing, yeah, that, like I said, they they always miss that part where um, there's like one kid. He's like involved in a gang or he's trying to get into a gang or some shit, and then he. Um, <laughs> Uh, he he ends up getting himself in some type of situation that he can't get himself out of, and then the teacher has to come down, and they end up putting their butt on the line, and then the they get the kid out of it, and the kid respects him, and then that's usually the the cliffhanger, the end of it. <laughs> somebody always is on the verge of getting shot or something like that, or somebody does get shot, and that that's how it ends. <laughs> like that that's always something they always throw into it. Um, as far as stereotypes in general. It's always funny to me because um, some stereotypes aren't even that damn bad. <laughs> like, some stereotypes I like, shit. Uh, especially with black people. Um, I, let me just say that uh, I don't like to brag about certain parts of me, but some stereotypes are true, goddammit. And that, that's just the bottom line. And some stereotypes seem stupid to get offended by. Like, they have the stereotype about Asians being good at math. Who the fuck cares? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm good at math or I'm not. This stereotype could easily be proven wrong by looking at my report card. Like, all you gotta do is take one look. If you can look at my report card and say I got a, and let's see, I got a D, and you still saying that I'm good at math, then you're the dumbass. <laughs> so, who the fuck cares about your opinion? You're stupid. Anyway, um, 
Yeah, like what 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 are the stereotypes they have? What, what, let's see, why, what what's the white people stereotype, or at least the good white person stereotype? Like they got good credit. And I'm sure there's some people out there that are currently going through bankruptcy, saying like, yeah, uh, good luck with that stereotype. I wish that stereotype was fucking true. <laughs> like black people stereotypes, it always has something to do with athletics and stuff like that. And um, chicken for some reason, everybody thinks that we're all about chicken. I'm, I'm kind of health conscious. I, I like my chicken uh, grilled or fucking uh, roasted. Like, that's my favorite type of chicken. I don't I don't really fuck with fried chicken too much. Every once in a while I will, but I don't think black people like fried chicken no more than any other race. Like, how the hell y'all gonna give us shit for liking fried chicken when you like fried chicken too, goddammit? Who the hell doesn't like watermelon? How the hell you gonna try giving us for liking watermelon? Everybody likes watermelon, goddammit. It's called watermelon. It's the juiciest fruit in the world. Who the fuck cares? Um, what else was I about to say? There's there's some more stereotypes out there. Um, if you guys know any type of stereotypes that are so ridiculous that you just find yourself laughing at, leave them in the comment section down below. Um, if there's anything you want to talk about as far as stereotypes, period, leave them in the comment section down below. Whether it's something that you heard or if it's a stereotype that you think isn't really like common, um, go ahead and leave it down there so that we can try to discuss it and everything. Uh, I, I really like Bill Burr's videos because they always open up something that can lead on to more conversation later. I mean, I know it's a comedy special and everything is a, like you should be taken as a joke. But at the same time, some of the stuff he says is real and can be used to actually start a dialogue that can improve people's, uh, the way they see other people. Because usually stereotypes especially early on in life, tend to be the first areas that you tend to know somebody that's not from your racial background and, or your cultural background or whatever. Like, that's the first experience you have with them. Like, oh, well, I've heard that black people like this or white people like this. So when you meet a white person, you tend to, like, or you meet a black person, you tend to, like, lean towards those stereotypes. Like, hey, what's up, my man? How you doing? Like, because, okay, I heard black people are, like, into hip-hop and shit. So I'm like, hey, yo, what's up? It, it's... It's just funny. Um, go ahead. Like I said, leave some comments down below and let me hear some stories that you have as far as stereotypes or something that's happened to you that uh, people have, like judge you based on your race or something like that. It doesn't have to always be bad. It could be something uh, good or funny. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you comment down below and make sure you share. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to move on to another comedy special. I'm the original Renaissance man, Devon Da Vinci. I hope to see you guys there. Deuces.